So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the NVIDIA RTX Showcase. Now, a couple of weeks back, NVIDIA reached out to me and see if I wanted to play around with this demo, and I said yes. So this showcase is pretty much going to show you what NVIDIA has been working on in Unreal Engine 4. And you have NVIDIA plus Epic Games working stuff in Unreal Engine 4. I mean, that is just exciting stuff. So we're going to go over the UI here real quick so you won't get lost or anything like that. Uh, on the left side, I did turn off some settings that was on by default because I wanted to show you the before and then we will look at the after right after so I have ray trace reflections off I have ray trace shadows on uh, translucency global illumination and my favorite Nvidia DLSS if you've been with me for a minute you know I have been using Nvidia DLSS so we have some equipment here that we can play around with and then the time of day right here you can see it's changing it's changing the light and again we're going to go back to that and why that's really helpful in this scene okay so i have the rtx label turned on i can turn it on turn it off and you have my fps at the top right corner and i am using an nvidia rtx 3090 founders edition for you guys out there who are wondering all right so let's walk around here and let's just check out the scene real quick and as, like I said, that time of day is moving automatically, but we will stop that here in a second whenever we have to. So right off the bat, as you can see there, the ray trace shadows, you can see it right here. So if you've been working with CG, you know that shadows are very important. You can have a high quality model, CG model in a scene, but without shadows, it's just not going to sell that effect of reality, of that realism. So uh, ray trace shadows is an amazing feature that if you want realistic in fact, you definitely got to have some shadows in there. And so you can see right here, uh, picture frames over here on top are showing that nice shadows to them. And I'm going to turn that off later uh, whenever we go through this demo here. So I'm going to walk around here. So you can see it is nighttime and it is really dark in here. All right, so let's just walk around here a little bit. And it's really dark. And you can see all of these kind of like jars. They look kind of funny. They're kind of like just really bright and stuff like that. That's because we have ray trace translucency off. All right, so what I'm going to do is turn that on, and you're going to see what happens. Boom, just like that, they look real. And what I'm going to do is actually change this to a little bit brighter, so you can see it a little bit better, okay? And now the time of day is paused, and I can move it around left and right whenever I want to. So let's take a look at these jars right here. And as you can see, it looks great, but it's not there yet because we're still missing some uh, components for this to look really good so I'm gonna turn it on and off the before translucency and then with it on okay so let's move around the scene now I do have it on daytime now which is good and like I said I'm gonna try and move this screen as smooth as I can for you guys alright so we have here is a mirror a mirror is supposed to be reflective again if you're familiar with CG and stuff like that reflection is a toughie because sometimes you actually have to bake that stuff in there but with ray trace reflections if i click this boom i have reflections right off the bat and it is dynamic meaning i can change and walk around and it's going to see you're actually going to see what i'm doing there and that is super cool so if we go from before ray trace reflections with ray trace reflections on and just like that it it looks amazing so one of the things that actually helped me sell that realistic look in Unreal Engine 4 is ray trace reflections. If you crank up that samples in Unreal Engine 4, it's going to give you some amazing results, especially if you're dealing with a robot or a Mac or something reflective like that. So we have the reflections turned on now. So everything is looking pretty decent now. All right, so we have the translucency as well. And we only have two things. We have the RTX Global Illumination and the NVIDIA DLSS. So what I'm going to do now is turn on the RTX Global Illumination. And as you can see, just like that, the room just kind of like got really bright. Okay, and I'm going to kind of go back to this area right here. And I'll try to do it as slow as I can. So I, you can kind of see like a wide shot of this area here. And I'm going to try to turn as smooth as I can here. I have my DPI too light, super, super duper slow. So what is RTX Global Illumination? So Global Illumination, the way I think about it, is just the way 
the light bounces all over the place. For example, if you had a dark room and you shine like a flashlight on the wall, the entire room would probably be lit somehow because light bounces. So for this scene, let's say a sun is coming down to this attic and the light is just bouncing everywhere until it's done, it's spent, and all the energy is gone. So that's what GI is. Obviously, there's probably a more scientific way of explaining that, but think about GI to just be bouncing lights, all right? So what's the big deal with RTX Global Illumination? Well, for you to do GI usually before, you would have to fake it or bake it. Pretty much put a couple of little lights there to mimic that light bouncing all over the place. But with RTX Global Illumination, that's happening in real time. That's happening dynamically. I'm gonna give you an example right now on what this RTX Global Illumination is doing whenever I change the time of day. So I'm going to go from here, and we're going to rewind it to the left. Okay? And you're going to see it's dark. There's nothing there. If I turn off GI right now, this is going to be completely dark because there's no more light source. And that's how you can kind of see it because this scene has really no lights in it. And that's what's crazy about it. So if we were to do this before without RTX Global Illumination, you would have to plant all those lights to get some kind of GI, to get some kind of lights out there. But now they're showing you, like, look, there's actually no light there. It's just GI that's doing all the work, which, again, is bananas. It's insane. I'm going to go backwards, turn it on, and I'm going to go to the left. Just look at this. Just this alone. It's crazy, right? If I go left. So the GI is actually taking that light source and pretty much just bouncing it all over the place like it would in real life. And that's super cool because not only that it's bouncing lights, it's also bouncing the color around that area. If you can see right here, it's a little bit blue. See right here? It's redder, so it's actually taking in that color information as well, which is pretty impressive. And it's all happening dynamically. It's all happening like live, if you would. So for you to mimic this, like I said, you would have to create a bunch of lights. For you to create this before, you would have to create a light, bunch of lights, bake those lights so you can fake that GI in there. And as you all know, the more lights you create, the more you're gonna have to build it. So with RTX Global Illumination, I think they said it was about two MS, that's how much it is, and you can actually even reduce it if you want. You can tweak it either less or more. That's pretty insane, and if you see right here, I'm at 6 to 6 FPS, and I'm running it at 1440p, you know, and I'm recording it as well. So a couple of good things about it is, is RTX GI is doing it live, dynamically, it's faster, you don't have to bake anymore, no more building lights. You don't have to wait a whole day just to build lights. That's insane, okay? That's really cool, all right? So let's let's move around here so you can kind of see a little bit more of the area. I know I'm kind of sticking around here, but this whole scene is pretty darn cool because it's dynamic in, a, in, a, in every single way. I mean, I can kind of bump this thing down here, and I'm going to show you what, what that's doing. That's really cool there. You see right here, it has a couple of lights out there. And I believe those are mesh lights. Those aren't even real lights as far as I know. And I'm going to turn here as slow as I can. So you can kind of see. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and trigger this cabinet here. Because like I said, this is going to show you a little bit better on what this dynamic light is all about and I've, I've said dynamic light like 50 million times but that's really the biggest takeaway with this showcase is light dynamic lights in your scenes in your games so i'm going to turn the light off and i just want to show you how this the, the flying stars here are interacting with the environment you see that the, the the environment right there around that area starts to become green and what's insane is yes i can change the time of day and it's not gonna matter it is dynamic it's gonna work regardless it's gonna pick up that gi it's gonna bounce light around 
Yeah, man, that thing is like moving really fast. Oh, there you go. And that's just cool. As you can see, it's like taking in the colors of those objects as they move around the attic. We talked about reflections, we talked about ray trace shadows, we talked about ray trace translucency, RTX global illumination. So lastly, we're going to save the best for last. It's the NVIDIA DLSS. Now, if you've been watching my channel, my YouTube channel, I made a video about on how to install this. Uh, because before you had to apply for it to get it, but now it's available to everyone to use this. And if you use Unreal Engine 4, download this because this is going to help you in that editor. It's going to help you in that uh, begin play. It's an amazing technology. Once again, uh, NVIDIA is creating for Unreal Engine 4. And I've used this in Unreal Engine 4, and I've used it in Cyberpunk when I was playing it in 8K. So it's crazy, all right? So let's talk about NVIDIA DLSS. So the way I think about NVIDIA DLSS is kind of like a scaling, super sampling process. But instead of just scaling the image, it's actually learning from it. It's using deep learning. It's using AI to scale that image, which is a lot better than just scaling it. So to give you an example on why this is a good thing, because before, whenever I had like, as a teenager, I had like a really crappy computer. For me to get a decent FPS, I would have to play at 480p. I would turn down, you know, the resolution and all that stuff just to play in a decent frame rate. What this is doing is it's actually doing that for you, but scaling that 480p up. Now, it's not exact, the exact numbers, but that's kind of like the idea of it is it's downscaling it so you get the performance, but it's also upscaling it and improving the quality of your game or your editor in Unreal Engine 4 or your game, whatever you're playing. So if you have an, an NVIDIA DLSS capable card, you must absolutely try this option, okay? It's, it's just crazy, you know, like how far we've come as far as FPS and stuff like that. So let's go ahead, enough talk. I'm gonna turn it on so you can see it. So I have it on and we jumped at 80, 83 and I'm gonna turn it off. Oh, there's 142, 132, 139. And I think it just took a minute for it to go. So I'm going to go walk around so you can kind of see that. And I'm going to take a look at this box here. And I'm going to turn it off. Okay. So that's off. We get 60, 76. And we're going to turn it on. Untrained eye, you're not even going to see the difference there. But it's giving you that FPS boost. Which is crazy. With NVIDIA DLSS, that was the only way I was able to play Cyberpunk 2077, like, when it first came out in 8K. That, that was it. There, I couldn't play it without NVIDIA DLSS, so that's just something to throw out there, which is really cool. Oh, and this uh, star ball here, you can actually push it around, and you're going to see that light just changing dynamically again. There's no more limitations. Like, you don't really have to bake those lights anymore. You can just kick it, and it's going to change with it. So if I go turn the light off again... I guess he's stuck in there now, but... oh, I got the ball stuck, but... Oh, there you go. It's rolling again. So you can kind of see that it's changing with the ball. The ball is reflecting and bouncing light all around the spot. And you can see the shadows as well, which is cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and make it brighter here. And let's take a look at my FPS. I'm looking at 179-ish. So we're definitely breaking the hundreds now with this card with the LSS on. And if you see something here in the couch, I'm going to turn it. Let me let me make it brighter here a little bit. I'm going to turn it off. Okay. I, like looking at my 4K monitor, I can't see the difference at all. It's not cuz like I said, it's downscaling it and then upscaling it, but as far as quality goes, I mean as far as I know that's how it works, but as far as quality goes to an untrained eye like me, I can't see the difference about this um you know whenever it uses dlss i'm getting the fps but as far as the quality it's not losing much and like i said in my previous videos in my demos on my youtube there's a lot of options for dlss there's performance or you can swing it all the way to quality so depending on what you want you can play around with those settings now in unreal engine 4 you can use it in the editor mode so whenever you're working in the actual editor and whenever you play 
on the begin play, you can also use TLSS there as well. Now, the number one question I had was, will it somehow make it to exporting? So that's what I usually just mainly use UE4 for. It's just making kind of like CG shorts and stuff like that. And hopefully one day we'd be able to use TLSS to downscale and upscale our movies whenever we render. So this technology is still being worked on. Okay, RTX Global Illumination is constantly changing all this stuff. Technology never stays still. It just keeps going forward majority of the time, right? So, yeah, it's going to keep changing for the better. And with NVIDIA and Epic Games working together to make Unreal Engine 4 better, I mean, the sky's the limit, okay? And that's pretty much it for the presentation. But before I go, let me show you guys these cool equipments which is pretty much the same exact thing that the the lights warming around the room is doing you can, it's just showing you how the dynamic lights are affecting the environment which is cool give me a weapon you know me I, I, i'm gonna have i can do this for for hours just shooting this stuff and this one's fun because it actually sticks to the wall like that which is really cool that one's sticky and there's a slow-mo one Look at that. It's just the light changing. I can turn the light off right now while that thing's going. And it's changing it. It's affecting the scene. Which is... That's sorcery. That's that's black magic to me, if you ask me. Like, what? Can you imagine all the horror games? The future horror game, guys? This is gonna be insane. This is some good stuff. There's a shell cannon. I think this is for the breaking of the... Uh... Oh, yeah, for the reflections and stuff like that. There you go. It's cool. And we have a disco ball. There it is. That's pretty cool. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it. I just would like to take a second to thank NVIDIA for letting me get dibs on this demo to take a look at it, to play around with it. Because this is some pretty exciting stuff uh, for me and hopefully for my viewers here on YouTube.